Welcome back to What Artie Noobs with General Disturbance. This is the Rhine Metal Borsig Waffenträger. It's a tier 8 German tank destroyer and it's located on the eastbourne of Sand River under the command of Hemi Kitten. Now, what can I tell you about the Waffenträger? Well, Waffenträger means support weapon, it's basically a TD. And it was designed to fire on the enemy from uh, cover and concealed positions and to do this it has a very big gun. Now this particular TD can take two different guns, either 128mm Kanonen or the pack 15cm. Now this particular one is carrying the 128mm! So technically this is an RT, but not really, if you know what I mean. <laughs> K for Kanonen means uh, this de designation that was actually given to artillery vehicles by the Wehrmacht. So technically this makes it a support artillery. It's a project that was started in 1942 but uh, they discontinued it in 1944. Now the chassis actually has the suspension of a Hetzer. And there's a T-30 over there which is uh, I think it's a T-30. Yep. It's a particularly deadly American tank destroyer. And there's an ST-1. Ooh, look at that. Went straight through 462 hit points. It's using standard AP. It's basically the similar gun to the one on the Scorpion. And that one went through 479. Now the penetration on this one is 246 millimeters. Alpha damage 490. And that one didn't go through because of the angle of the armor. There's an IS-3. Definitely tracked that IS-3. Oh, he's been tracked. Fires around into the turret. Goes straight through the turret for 887. Can take it out with the next shot, but going for the ST-1. And it doesn't penetrate. It actually bounces off. Or it actually, no, it makes a, a dent, but it doesn't go through. Going for the ST-1. That one went through. 422. T44 100. Be like going through butter. Or oh, butter through paper. Yeah, wipes him out. He's gone. Not the right tank to meet 128mm round. It's a Progetto up towards the south area. Yep, she spotted it. And there's a. Object 430. She went for the 430. 1036. That's a really good round. Hit the lower plate, I think. The Pajetto's still getting closer. There it is. She's seen it. No, the shells didn't connect. She's going to have to pull down. She was seen. Now, there is an RT on the enemy team. It's an M40 M43. That GW Tiger P, our RT, is. I think he's getting in a position so he can shotgun the Progetto if he comes around the corner. The armour on the Rhine Metal Borsig Waffen Traker is very, very weak indeed. Anything that touches it is going to go through. Because they sacrifice a lot of the armour so they can carry such a heavy gun. Okay, she's lining him up. She's auto aimed onto the Progetto and broken the lock. There he is, behind that dune. It's going to go round the corner of the dune try and attack him from that side. Now the Progetto can definitely see her so she might receive an arty round any second. Let's hope not. Oh took a round from the Progetto but she wipes him out. 372 hit points. He was only able to get one round into her so that's two kills and a lot of damage and most of the action is now going on at the other end of the map at the moment. We've got a batch at 25 ton who discovered the enemy dispositions. Now there's an object 430 in the town, it's the same one we fired at before, and that T30. I'm hoping that if we spot them, then we'll be able to put rounds into them. But the only one who's close enough to actually do some spotting is the Scorpion G. There's the Wizzy 111. And we fire around into him, 462 hit points. Now what she was spotted, so she's going to have to come down from there. Oh, there will be an RT round on the way. You see, basically, this tank destroyer is all gun. 
absolutely massive gun. Going up over the rise, she will be spotted if he, uh, he's behind that rock. So, oh, she has been spotted, but she managed to get around through his roof. But she took around from the object 430 and lost her driver and her radio. She's not going to fix the radio just yet. She has fixed the driver, got him back in action. So she's returning back to her cap now. If she was to go on further up, uh, I think she would be in danger of being on her own. But the Object 430 has gone down. That means they are, they've clawed one back. She's going to climb up the dune and see if she can shoot the enemy from further up. That will still get her in a sort of hold down position. Because as she goes further up the dune, only the turret will appear above the ridge line. But she's going up the other way. Which means the whole vehicle has to go over the top before she can see the enemy. Fairly poor gun depression. Now that T30 is still around somewhere. She's got 3.7k of damage. There's the Wizzy 111. She can take him out of the game and... Oh, it's a big hit. It's a massive hit there. The Wizzy 111 doesn't know where she is. He, he, she using the bush mechanic. That's it. He's gone. He couldn't see her. She can see him though. And she's reloaded. Now, we're still one down. There's a T-49 coming into the north. And we've got a couple of defenders near who should be able to spot for us. He's going through the village right now. There's an ST1 on his way in. Oh, no chance. I think she's going to use this little uh, fort at the end of the village, uh, at the end of the town, as cover. Or is she? No, she's changing, she's moving. There's the T49. Where's the ST1? You should be in that direction. She can just see the corner of the village. There's the T30 behind her. And where is the ST1? The RI SU-152 has moved away from the heights, so we can't see the ST1 anymore. And the T30 is actually engaging... Uh, I think he's engaging the T95, is it? Or the... Yes, it is the T95. And our artist just got around into the T30. Oh, we just lost our eyes. U152. T30's gone into the uh, the rib bed, so we should probably be able to put him around into him. But there's the weapon trigger on the enemy team. Oh, it's a weapon trigger out of fear. We've locked on, but the round went behind him. And he's going to go into the riverbed, which means obviously we're going to have to get closer to shoot him. Lost lock. And the enemy T-30's been wiped out. Now, can we get to this uh, weapon trigger? And uh, the T-49's been killed. Now, where's the weapon trigger? We can't see him. There he is. Yes, you get a good hit. 515. Can we get the kill shot? Probably, oh, needs to move forward, that's it, now, yes, but it's not us who gets the kill, it's the ST1 on our team gets the kill, oh no it wasn't, sorry, it was the T95 got the kill, the ST1 just killed our G GW Tiger P, so it's now two against two, and we know that the ST1 was last seen Going around the back. Now, is he going to come around the corner? Or is he going to head straight back to the cap? Now, the enemy's got an arty, so their arty will probably be looking for signs of us. Signs of the enemy. And they may be telling that to the SD-1. Well, the SD-1's seen us, and that means the enemy arty will be focusing on us very shortly. 
And the ST1's been taken out, which means that it's only the RT now. And we were stunned by that round, which landed just behind us. But it's now a race to get to the other end of the map to find the M40, M43 and finish this game. Three kills apiece to the T95 and the Rhine Metal Borsig Waffentrager. They could platoon. Say this thing is all gun. <laughs> it's absolutely massive. Sneaking up on the M40. Doesn't know we're coming. It's probably not seeing any of the destruction, you see. Uh, it's a question of guessing where he's likely to be. The T95 is coming up on the conventional route. We're going along the north side. Is he going to be in the dip? No. Well, T95 has started capping. It looks to me like the M40, M43 has decided that uh, he's gone elsewhere. <laughs> and they've both platooned to get a brothers in arms. Well, he's not in this area. So there's a good chance he might be in the north. He might have gone up onto the A-line. Or he's gone down to the south along the one or two line. Well, that round just came in from the RT. It's, it's damaged the T95 and reset the clock. T95 needs to move. Because the enemy RT is more than likely going to fire at that same spot again. Because he did get some damage off that one. So he'll know that somebody's there. And I suspect that the enemy RT is actually in the north. Just my suspicion. Well, that's the two minute hooter. And we're going to cap this out in 15 seconds if the M40, M43 does not get another reset. Eight seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And that's it. And the round comes in exactly where the T95 was last seen. Uh, yep, the enemy RT did fire in the same position. The T95 wasn't untouched. Therefore, it's a win. So let's have a look at the end of battle stats. It's an ace tanker for Hemi Kitten in the Rhine Metal Borsig Waffentrager. She actually managed to get a fire for effect as well for dealing more damage than the hit points of her own vehicle. A brothers in arms for platooning with somebody who also had three kills. And she got the high caliber for dealing the most damage in the battle overall. So let's have a look at the uh, team scores. Yep, she got the highest damage, 4,838 hit points of damage, real monster score, 1,000 hit points, well, nearly 2,000 hit points more than the next high scorer, which was the T30 with 2,945 hit points. Um, the next high scorer after that was the uh, enemy RT, the uh, M40, M43 with 2,777, and then the T95 with 2,123 on our own team. Um... When it came to kills, uh, well, it was the ST1 on the enemy team. Managed to get four kills. 
um, before he was taken out by the T95. Then came two tanks with, or three tanks with three kills apiece. The T95, the Spar Panzer, and the Rhine Metal Borsig Waffentrager with three apiece. Uh, when it came to base XP, it was the Rhine Metal Borsig Waffentrager with Hemi Kitten, uh, 1,345 base experience points. Uh, then the T95 with 1,000, and then the GW Tiger P with 767. So let's have a look at the detail report. She fired 18 rounds during that battle. She got 14 direct hits, 12 penetrations, damage of 4,838 hit points, of which 2,893 were at more than 300 meters. She received two hits. Both of them were penetrations. As I said, it's a very, very, the armor's paper thin and anything that touches she basically is going to go straight through. And she did receive one hit as a result of splash damage from the M40 as well. She spotted two enemy vehicles, damaged seven of the enemy, killed three of them, and did damage assistance for 552 hit points. She managed to get 52 cap points when the T95 was reset, so she got the most of the cap points, or um, more of them than the T95. Uh, on a premium account, she earned 63,195 credits for that battle, because she got the high caliber. And after repair and ammunition resupply and consumables, she still took away 34,942 credits. She received 2,018 XP, and there was no multipliers, so that's all the experience points she took away. But, yep, 4,800 damage, and the girl carried. So, yep, she certainly did. She carried the team, and uh, even if the T95 hadn't taken care of the T30, or the SD1, she certainly would have done so, and uh, I think that was a very good example of how the Rhine Metal Borsig Waffentrager can be very, very effective if played correctly. Uh, so, if you enjoyed this replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel, and hopefully, it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video.